What a start. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, welcome to Riverfront Ministries Jazz Vespers service. Uh, this is a new service for us, but we gather here on the third Sunday of each month for jazz. Um, and if you're not familiar with Jazz Vespers, it's a night of music and of poetry, um, some words to get you centered, some words to make you think, and then some music to let your brain do that movement. Um, here at Riverfront, we meet um, 505 every Sunday night, and worship looks e a little different each week. Um, the fourth Sunday of the month, we meet over at Iron Hill Brewery for dinner church. And so if you aren't familiar with us as a community, there's some postcards on a chair and invite you to grab one on your way out uh, to follow us on social media, Riverfront Ministries, both Facebook and Instagram, best way to keep up with us. Um, again, I'm Pastor Chelsea, and tonight our theme is this question of where do we go from here? So all summer long we've been um, wrestling with different questions, and tonight's question comes from this theme, where do we go from here? So where do we go from here after we've experienced something good and beautiful, or after there's been heartache, how do we keep going? Right? How do we experience something and then not just leave that experience behind, but how do we allow that experience to shape us, to move us? Um, and hopefully tonight, um, one of our hopes is that tonight you would hear and experience and feel the goodness of God through the music and through the words, and that the music and the words might refresh you and might get you thinking and might lead you on to something else, right? That your experience here tonight at Riverfront might invite you to invite a friend next time you come or to share about your experience online or to just keep asking that question, um, to keep wrestling. One of the things I love most about this community is that uh, folks who worship with us often aren't afraid to ask questions. And so as a pastor, that is sometimes hard because these questions are challenging, and yet it's really beautiful. It's really beautiful to be in community with folks who are willing to ask the hard questions and to sit in it when there aren't always answers. And so tonight's uh, opening poem by Elaine will hopefully center us in that spirit of where do we go from here. Good evening. This poem is titled Flashlight. Um, it was written by Sarah R. I believe is the proper pronunciation. I wish I could draw you a map of the next steps, the next conversation, the next brave truth, the next fumble, the next apology. Wouldn't it be nice to know what is coming? Wouldn't it be nice to prepare our hearts? but I don't know where to go from here. I am a child with a flashlight, deeply hopeful and a little nervous, all at the very same time. What I do know is I don't want to go anywhere without you. So I am hoping that you will take my hand, see this truth and trust my voice. Look for the good and day by day, we can go from here because we were never meant to go alone. And maybe we'll get lost, but then again, maybe we'll be found. So if you're willing, if you'll just say yes, I will let you hold the flashlight. We can find our way step by step, light in hand, abolishing shadows together. Who needs a map when you have the light anyway? Uh, Mike Boone and the Room Nine Quartet. Thank you so much for being here. We're so grateful. Thank you. It's an honor. This is for A New Beginning by John O'Donohue. In out-of-the-way places of the heart, where your thoughts never think to wander, this beginning has been quietly forming, waiting until you were ready to emerge. For a long time, it has watched your desire feeling the emptiness growing inside you, noticing how you willed yourself on, still unable to leave what you had outgrown. It watched you play with the seduction of safety, 
and the gray promises that sameness whispered, heard the waves of turmoil rise and relent, wondered, would you always live like this? Then the delight when, the, when your courage kindled and out you stepped onto new ground, your eyes young again with energy and dream, a path of plentitude opening before you. Though your destination is not yet clear, you can trust the promise of this opening. Unfurl yourself into the grace of beginning. That is at one with your life's desire. Awaken your spirit to adventure. Hold nothing back. Learn to find ease in risk. Soon, you will be home in a new rhythm for your soul senses the world that awaits you. Thank you. 
Standing at the Fork in the Road, a life by Ryers Brasco. I want to say Brasco. <laughs> Where do we go from here? Standing beneath the tines of the fork in life's road. Do we take the road less traveled by and accept the hardship of being different? Do we take the well beaten path to the autumn of our life? that we know is certain? Or do we make our own route? Mendering in the wilderness, building upon the footsteps of those who came before us. 
Where do we go from here? When our hearts are broken, the strains of the siren song whispers in the wind. Do we love again, my friends? Our guard, our hearts until the end. Do we forgive in the light of betrayal or hold a grudge, locking away our hearts until they are pale? Where do we go from here? When hope eludes us, when our thoughts are trapped in trials, without light in the darkness of our minds, where do we go, friends? We go where we may live, we live where we may love, we love where we cannot doubt.
Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Right. Great. You sound okay? You okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. I'm all Appreciate right you now. being here. I just want to um, introduce these guys. Well, first of all, the reason why did I say why we called them Room Nine? Did I do that already? Nope. Well, nope. I didn't tell them. Okay. No, I told no. you guys. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I decided to call these this group Room Nine uh, because I, I, I'm an adjunct professor at Temple University. I've been there for uh, quite a while now. I think <laughs> since 2006 or something like that. And um, Mikey, uh, this is Mikey Mister on the drums. Yeah. Yeah. First, Jake Miller on guitar. Obi Nyman on the baritone sax. Yeah, yes. Okay, back to, um, so back to, I, I teach at Temple. And um, I don't have any bass students, but I actually had a couple of drum students this past semester. But, you know, I think um, bass and drums, they're kind of a, they're, they're a hookup in terms of the rhythm section. So I think it's a, a good idea for, you know, bass players to maybe spend some time with a, a, a teacher on drums and vice versa for drums. So he decided to um, take it upon himself. To, um, so. We actually had lessons. He had drum lessons, and he had lessons with me. My lessons were a little different. It was kind of like what you're witnessing right here, because um, I told him if he had any folks that wanted to play with us, because I wanted to do our best to simulate an actual playing situation, because you're going to do that. A lot of times in the one-on-one -on -one lesson thing, it's tunnel vision, and then when you get out there and play people, it's like a whole other thing, because you got to, you know, so the, the sooner you do that, the easier. So these guys, they, Ended up coming to every damn near every lesson we had. <laughs> so it was in room nine, which is down in the basement, in the dungeon somewhere in the music room, where nobody wants to be. And that's what they, I feel like I've been banished there. But anyway, we just play tunes and we work stuff out. And what you just saw right there, especially on that last tune, was just me just calling audibles and just and just putting people out there. Just, you know, we just want to, you know, just want to get them to just bare their souls or something, just kind of be real, you know, it's just like you are, so you guys are half of the music, so can I give yourselves a round of applause, can yeah. you do that, at least say that, and I'll play some more music, I gotta say this, because a lot of times the artists get twisted, but you're 50% of what just happened, what, and what was going to happen, if you weren't here, this wouldn't be here, so we appreciate it, also appreciate you, um, Chelsea and um, Sharon, for bringing us here, so I just wanted to say that. Another poem. Do you think when they got to the end of the Edmund Pettus Bridge, they asked, where do we go from here? Do you think when the church voted for all people to preach and lead and worship together, they asked, where do we go from here? Do you think when your parents had their first fight with you sleeping peacefully in the next room, they might have asked in hushed voices, where do we go from here? Do you think that maybe, just maybe, people have been asking this question for as long as we've been asking questions? I don't know for sure, but what I do know is that I want to ask hard questions with you. So here it goes. Where are you from? Where does it hurt? What do you need and where do we go from here? I pray, I trust, I believe that if we keep asking, together, we might just find our way home. Thank you. 